So pretty much the tree was leaning the complete opposite direction that it fell. I used two wedges and uh, was ready to go. So yeah, I fell exactly where I wanted. Didn't damage any trees on the way down. My two mini trees here, if I give you guys a closer look, didn't get damaged at all. Fell right beside the tree that we skidded the bark last week. So pretty much exactly where I was aiming. Allô, pour que je suis petit. Je en haut, là. Pousse. Pousse. All right, so almost done. I have a few logs to put on it, maybe one or two days more, and I'll be almost done with the, the big logs. So yeah, it's going pretty well. Maybe one other log on the furthest wall, one small four, five, maybe six inch log on the back wall, and one big or one smaller uh, log on the uh, short wall here 
So just to give you guys a view, walking with the camera here. Uh, you guys just saw before with the truss up. I'll have some decent headroom. I'll be able to park my snowmobile, put some wood in there. It's going to be a nice little workshop and storage area. So yeah, especially with the floor open, uh, I'm going to have some decent headroom. I can't go too high because I still want a slope on my roof. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's going. So I only need to add a few more logs, like I said, and then fill in the gaps with the smaller logs and maybe add a window or even, like I just thought, add some uh, screen in like the open where the trusses are. So the open triangles, I might just add some screen and make like, myself like a small wooden window frame. And I'll have pretty much you no know, air blasting through it. So yeah, pretty good progress today. Over here, you'll see it's, it's a decent size. Pretty much a little bit smaller than the cabin, but almost the same size. Yeah, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe.